so good, good evening everyone uh, in my previous use case of ai i presented about uh, the use case of copilot uh, doing auditing in various areas like hr purchase procurement and sales uh, today i would like to take uh, introduce uh, present about the use case of ai in preparing or auditing the cash flow statements we have seen multiple times that our office colleagues or somewhere someone else if it come about so financial financial statements they are very much confident about that when it come about, come about the cash flow they feel little con, uh, little don't feel confident enough uh, to um, to do the uh, to do the uh, they don't feel confident about to preparation or maybe checking of the cash flow so uh, let me start with a demonstration Uh, is my screen visible? Yeah, it is visible. Thank you. Uh, so, I'm giving a prompt for chat GPT. I want to prepare a cash flow statement as per S3. Help me to prepare the cash flow. I will provide the financial details. So as I have given the prompt to the GPT, it started explaining about the cash flow and what are the, all the areas it will consider preparing the cash flow. Now, uh, for the ease of convenience, uh, for the ease in considering the time limitation, so here's the profit and loss statement. The year ended 31st March 2024. I've taken the limited items to prepare the cash flow. Given give the prompt to the chat GPT. I have already broken down into a text format. I copy the same and paste it in chat GPT. You'll see in the balance sheet, the column E, I have already computed the movement balance sheet items as compared to the last year. Also, I have taken out what is the impact of that. A similar way, I have converted this into the text format. In this text, there will be a slight changes. I, haven't, I didn't consider the changes in long-term provisions, changes in PPE and CWIP, because this I have considered as a other detail. For the balance sheet items again, I have copied the prompt, studied in GPT. In other details, I have taken the provision for gratuity used by 36,000 PPE purchased uh, 151200 during the year, CVA base increased by 377971. Just for the clarification, I have mentioned that there is a no tax paid during the year to the GPT. Yes, I have given the complete. Prompt. The complete initial statement details of GPT. I'll press enter. Now, as you can see, when we give the prompt and one of our fellow panelists mentioned that sometimes chat GPT doesn't give the correct results, maybe due to uh, the understanding of that. As you can see, it has majorly mentioned the everything, the net pro uh, profit, depreciation adjustment, financial charges, provision for gratuity. But it considered defer tax here in the adjustment and it created the working capital by creating uh, by mentioning the defer tax in the list if you will see they have taken the uh, gpt mentioned the increase and in the uh, decrease in the uh, other items which mentioned uh, which shows the changes in working capital 
as a case generated from the operations and operating profit. At the end, it itself says the closing balance is this, and the discrepancy might be due to some missing information or error provided in the data. So as we uh, as we'll recheck it. So what it doesn't have considered while calculating the uh, while preparing the cash flow statements. Yes, in financing activities, it has considered all the three items. While coming to the investing activities, it has considered, uh, considered correctly the impact of purchase of PPE and the increasing CVIP. Now, if you'll see the impact of long-term loan, not considered and therefore it's considered in the adjustment again as i mentioned it recreated it The complete cash flow mentioning all the data It says uh, the balance at the end is 683733 and cash balance is 4153372. Let me give the prompt again. Attention, last two minutes left. Thank you. Can I have given the complete prompt? So sometimes what happens when it's not getting the prompt correctly, what we have to do is we have to do give the prompt one by one so that it gives the correct or accurate result. The reason for showing the complete use case is, uh, as we know, uh, the cash flow is considered like a uh, pain once we are doing or preparing financial statement or checking the cash flows uh, at the time of audit. But how can ChatGPT help us? It can help us where and how we can use this. If you can see, the ending cash balance says the 3,15,371, but our cash balance is 4,15,372. The 1 lakh rupees impact is again, which doesn't, didn't consider the long term advances. As, I've added, as we have identified the impact of 1 lakh rupees will pertain to the changes in long-term loans and advances. It will create the whole uh, cash flow statements and Time, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Arpit, a nice uh, presentation. Basically, 
uh, you showed us how to use AI to prepare cash flow statement, which you early, as rightly you put it that it's a pain point for all the chartered accountants. Um, well, uh, I think uh, it basically what uh, I could gather is that it is our imagination what we want. Asking the proper question would give the proper reply. Now, my simple yes. question to you is that uh, can't we do this by simply giving the uh, balance sheet and the trial balance and the relevant data in tabular form or in an Excel format instead of uh, giving it all in writing as a prompt in text format? Uh, sir, as a fellow panelist also mentioned, that again, it's AI is in the uh, you know stage uh, initial level, where it's not actually able to read the data properly all the time. It's all depend upon the how we are giving the prompt to them. So as you as you already saw in my demonstration as well, when I gave the prompt uh, in the same prompt earlier, it was not giving the correct result. Even if I have uh, converted all the data in the prompt format, it missed the impact of the changes in the long term loans and advances. Once, yeah, once, uh, if we have gone through the all the uh, results and the outcome presented by the chat GPT and mentioned the impact which it has been, uh, you know, left, then we can just change the prompt accordingly. Coming to your question, whether we can pour, give everything in the Excel sheet. So when we give the financial statement, is not uh, they have multiple other uh, areas in that with the along with the notes and the multiple. Uh, you know, schedules in that. So, if we are providing this uh, in these two areas, if like uh, a balance sheet in the PNL statement, as you can see, I have mentioned the other details as well. Why uh, the pro provision for the gratuity was coming, uh, I was taken in from the notes of accounts and the impact of change in edifices additions I have taken from the schedule. Because I need to. Uh, very uh, you know mention for those details for those adjustment need to be taken care of separately uh, while calculating uh, while calculating the or cash flows from the operating activities okay probably very soon we'll see a day when we can say that this uh, balance sheet and profit and loss has been prepared as per the institute guidelines so kindly prepare a cash flow so then it will know where the figures are and it will be appropriate correct okay thank you thank you sir Okay, Mayur, from your side. Yeah, yeah, a nice explanation. Actually, he has given a, a relevant use case where many of the chartered accountants and professional professors are using this, uh, finding this difficulty to create cash flows in a very uh, speedy way, and that is a very uh, important requirement in corporate reporting. Okay, and we we expend good amount of hours in just creating this information which has been very speedily executed in just five minutes of presentation what we can i can sense thanks yeah